Hey guys, American Free State. Uh, today I'd like to talk about my five-year experience with the Ares Gear Aegis belt uh, and suggest that if you need a heavier, load-bearing capable EDC gun belt, this model will serve you well as it has me comfortably over the past five years. Now the thing I like most about this belt is that unlike a lot of the heavy scuba webbing gun belts out there, you can wear this belt like any other belt to simply hold up your pants or load it down with a complete battle belt configuration. Now over the course of five years, there have been some issues with this belt that you would not have with say a heavy leather EDC belt. And those issues have been from it being stronger and more rigid than the pant material I wear or you would wear with it. Specifically, uh, it's popped belt loops off of jeans because by putting it on and off, you're basically sawing this stiff scuba webbing material against softer jean or pant fabric. And that softer fabric is over time going to lose against the belt's stiff scuba webbing. Does that mean this belt will tear through the new black suit pants you bought after seeing John Wick 4? No, you'll have to do a lot of belt loop threading with this belt before it does any damage to your clothing. And by that time, the pants are probably old anyway, as in the case of my uh, work jeans here. Now, another issue I had with this belt, not in any way a complaint because this thing's been awesome, but the other occurrence, in addition to occasion occasionally breaking a belt loop, is uh, this belt sawing through the soft plastic loops on my old school uh, Glock mag pouches. As you can see, the belt, with the belt running through these soft plastic loops, it will and does eventually uh, tear through over time. Now in the five years that I've had this belt, I think I've replaced two or three of these mag pouches, which run about $12 each, so not a major expense there. Okay, so let's take a look at the buckle lockup. Now the buckle lockup is a simple but very effective uh, tension system, uh, tension bar that presses against the belt and locks it down as weight and tension are placed on the belt. It's a very secure system that doesn't limit you to a specific waist size, I guess is the best way to say that. So if you lose or gain a few pounds, the buckle easily accommodates your shrinking or growing belly uh, to an extent. Uh, these uh, all come in various size ranges from, I think, small to 2XL. And here's how the uh, buckle is secured. Um, buckle the buckle on this model being a solid milled piece of carbon steel, steel uh, secured to the belt. Not removable, but very fixed. Okay, let's talk about all the frayed nylon on the uh, belt's outer layer and how this came to be and how I'm going to clean it up. Okay, so the belt's uh, load bearing components or equipment that it comes into contact with daily uh, are the uh, magazine and tourniquet pouches on the nine, uh, nine o'clock and the gun at the three o'clock. Now, at the three o'clock, you can see that over the years of pushing holster clips, not just this holster, but another holster as well, over the belt have frayed this nylon covering. So let me show you how I'm going to fix that uh, with a torch and a pocket knife. Okay, so I'm gonna just use this knife here to cut the, uh, this kind of frayed nylon material. This is the Buck 301. I did a, a review uh, of this knife. And this is an EDC, by the way. I did a review of this knife about a year ago, uh, if you've been around for a while. And I'm just gonna use a, like an industrial torch. Um, a lighter would probably suffice, but I have this, so I'm going to use it. All right, so I'm just going to, if I can get this on camera here, I'm just going to kind of take off some of, as much of this kind of frayed nylon material as I can that's showing up. Just kind of cut that off like so. Yeah, I'm not cutting myself in the process, hopefully. Yeah. That's off the end, and, and of course here, this is the section where, this is where the, the holster was coming into contact. It's not just this 
holster with a with a one and three quarter inch um, clip. It was this one as well, and this has a one and a half inch clip. This was this clip is why there's so much damage to this belt. When I wear this Glock 26, one and a half inch belt, one and a half inch clip. What's going to happen, right? Well, this is going to happen. So this is this is not in any way a defect of the belt. Does that make sense? This is me, in, in my assumption, this is me putting a too small of a holster clip, forcing it over this belt to make sure it's secure. I'm basically forcing it on there because it barely fits. So that's that's what happened there. This this fraying of, of nylon is not the uh, the fault of the product. It's the fault of the user. So uh, I'm just showing you how I, I intend to correct it in case you have uh, this kind of problem with your whatever, whatever gun belt you're using now. All right, get those cut off there. So I've got pretty much those cut off. At the nine o'clock where the, uh, the mag pouch go, mag pouch and the um, uh, tourniquet are go, there's not that much of a problem. So let's get the old torch and see what we can do here. Can't clean that up. All right, let's go for some of these areas here. That I burn myself, I think it burned some hair off my arm there. Okay, well, that's showing up, looking pretty good. Put that again. Go down the rest of the belt. Go all the way down here. Definitely, I mean, you can tell that just got. I mean, it's my imagination. It seems like it got stiffer, but that's showing up. Maybe if you didn't have such a dark background. Okay, well. Yeah, my studio consultant has just, you know, hasn't, hasn't, didn't show up the other day for the meeting we were supposed to have. All right, let's see how that looks. It's, it's kind of got some fraying right here at the end. Um, uh, that's kind of, I think that's for me to stick in my hand in and out of my left pocket, you know, or get, getting stuff in and out of my left pocket. I come into contact with that a lot. So let's see. Getting smoky. See that kind of takes care of that. All right, I'm gonna say that's a that's a good fix. Uh, what well, we got a little bit down here at the with the mag. Yeah, I see I'm burning myself now. Get that. That shows up. Looking good? I think so. Yeah. And that is a restored Aries Aegis belt. Oh, one more. Yeah, I kind of let this, uh, the situation with this, this small belt uh, clip or holster clip go uh, for a little bit too long and it's kind of gotten into the scuba webbing right here. I don't know if that shows up. It kind of started to deteriorate that scuba webbing. So I, I'm, I have on order a larger, uh, a one and three quarter inch uh, holster clip from Dara for this guy. So that's not gonna be an issue in the future. All right. Okay, so let's talk about cost um, for this belt. Now, five years ago, I remember paying around $100 for this belt off the Aries website. Uh, and at that time, uh, this model, if I remember correct, was the only Aegis belt model available. Today, if you go to the Aries website, uh, which I'll post in a link, and look under the 
Aegis line of belts, these heavy two-ply scuba webbing belts are labeled Enhanced Limited Machined Nitrited and are selling for $145. Uh, still a great deal considering the belt and the years of use you'll get out of it. Now at a lower cost around the $100 to $120 level, Ares now offers two other Aegis belt models. Uh, they have a Gen 2 and an enhanced Aegis belt, both of which seem to be less rigid and more flexible than this one and come with a polymer buckle as opposed to this uh, steel or carbon steel buckle, which is likely a response to the post Tactical era EDC loadouts, which are now smaller and lighter than what people were carrying prior to the 2020 pandemic. Okay, I've covered everything I can think to say about this belt. It's really been a great product that I won't need to replace anytime soon. Uh, please post any questions you have about this belt in the comments. And if you found the video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.